So, computer scientists and developers, right? They wanted to be able to take these 256 characters, 256 characters, and they wanted to represent these in a more concise way, right? So, think about this with me. Think. If I have base 10, right? Base 10. Then, if I have, say, well, okay, um, two characters, right? Each one has 10 possibilities. So I have 100 different options. Does that make sense? 100 different characters I can represent here. If I have 256, 256 is a square number, right? What's it equal to? It'd be 16. So if I had a base, not base 10, or base 2, if I had a base 16 system, I could represent all 256 of these characters with two letters, two characters, each of which have 16 different possibilities. 16. Base 10 is called decimal. Base 2 is called binary. Base 16 is called, does anyone know what it's called? Well, you want, you want 10 and then you want to add 6, right? So they call it hexadecimal. Okay. Now again, this system has been born out of computers. Okay. So here's the way it counts. Here's the way it counts. I'm going to count in hexadecimal for you. Okay, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So far, so good, right? Ten. Eleven. Oh, yeah, Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15. Okay. So in total, if I add my zero there, you see this is base 16. My biggest single character is one less than that. Just like in base 10, your biggest single character is one less than 10. And in base 2, your biggest single character is one less than 2. It's just 1. Okay. So therefore, how do you read stuff like this? Let's, um, I'm going to pull out 25 again, right? Uh, well, for the first time. 25. How would I write 25 decimal in something hexadecimal? How am I going to do it? Hmm. Think about how we translated before. What would you like me to draw up? Hmm. I think I can draw up a table of just two values. I think I can do it with the two. <laughs> this first one will be units, right? Units. But a better, more inf informative way of saying it is it's how many 16 to the power of zeros I have. 16 to the power of zeros. My second digit will be how many 16s? How many 16s to the power of 1? Okay, how many 16s are there in 25? There is 1. Okay. How many 1s are left behind? There are 9, right? Hmm, that's a bit weird, right? This is 25 in decimal if I write it in hexadecimal, okay? Let's think about some other numbers. Let's use the, um, let's use the fancy extra new characters that we've got, which are just old characters that we've just repurposed. Isn't that funny how things go in cycles? Do you remember we said back, or people who were here on Wednesday, we said, oh, Roman numerals, Roman numerals are really <coughs> funny because they just use regular letters to represent numbers, like, you, you only know that these are numbers because you see them in a particular context, right? Well, we've kind of gone all the way back to doing that, right? We've, again, we're using letters to represent numbers. Okay, try this on for size. What's this number? This is hexadecimal, right? How would I convert this into decimal? Mm. What do each of the decimals, sorry, each of the digits, what do they stand for? Ten. What's this number? Ten. This is, in decimal it's 10, right? And that's how many 16s you have, right? So that means it's a number, a, the number, 10 lots of 16. So that's 160, right? And then what's this? This is, this is 14, it's how many units I have. So it would be 160 plus 14. So it would be 154. In the decimal. Okay, say it again. Yeah, oh, 74, sorry. Okay. What's the biggest number I can represent in just two characters? 
It'll be FF, right? <laughs> FF, that's the biggest digits I have. And like we established before, it's going to be this number, right? <coughs> 255 in decimal, which is 1111111 in binary. Okay? So you can see how these larger bases, right? They make numbers more concise, but you have to know more characters to be able to read it. Right? What would this number be? Um, oh, that big. That's hexadecimal. Right? This is going to be a big number, right? How would you work it out? What does that mean? It's 15 lots of what? 16 squared, 16 to the power of 2, right? Plus 1 lot of 16 to the power of 1. Plus C lots, what's C? What's C? 10, 11, 12. Plus 12. I don't know what this is. Can someone get reach a calculator and tell me what it is? Anyone? <coughs> Anyone there? Please tell me it doesn't explode your calculator. These numbers aren't that big, right? Can you read it for me, G? Yeah, it's 3,868. That's not too bad. Cool. There you go. <coughs> so you can see these three digits become these... Oh, sorry. should write down the base. There. Okay. Become these four digits in decimal. And you can actually... It's not that hard to write for yourself, even in something like Excel, <coughs> write a translator between these two, or even go to binary. I'm not even going to bother trying try to write this in binary. Quick question for you. I won't make you answer it now, but how would you work out how many digits you would need to represent that in binary? Don't answer it, just think about it. Can it be solved without doing it just, you know, by trial and error? Can you take an analytical approach to it? That's my question.